I'm Mike Sullivan. And I'm Lauren Rosella. Okay, Rosella. So look, I remember a day when you were having the round of your life. You remember this, don't you? Yeah. You got to the 15th hole, 15. hole at Pine Hollow. And what happened? Um, I made a mistake. You had the round of your life going and I had you- the round of my life and going. And you just blew a gasket, didn't you? Yeah, I, yeah. I played a shot I had no business playing, never practiced before, and I spiraled out of control. Right, so she was not completely staying in the moment and you lost your sense of clarity. I did. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the mental side of the game and clarity. All right, so let me set the stage, if I may. So this was a few years ago. Mm -hmm. We were playing our course that we are members at, Pine Hollow Golf Club in Clayton, North Carolina. And Lauren was just humming right along. We get to the 15th hole, which is a moderately challenging par three. And the, mod the challenging part is it's, it's a long par three. So it's no gimme par. It, it's a hole that you're gonna average over par on. Right? Especially for me, yeah. Yes, so she hits her tee shot into a greenside bunker, right? Yep. Correct. So what happened? So I'm setting up to my shot. I know the skill, I know to open the club face, I know to, you know, splash the sand. Right. But the thing that was going on in my mind at that moment was, Dear God, get me out of the bunker. Dear God, if I hit this onto the green, I can one putt and still par. I, if I hit, get it onto the green, I can still two putt and bogey and it's not gonna kill my round. That was overwhelmingly in my mind, hovering over that. Part. So to refresh my memory, how did the shot go? What happened? I bladed it over the green and into the shrubbery. Yes, she bladed over the green, over the cart path, into the woods. And the saving grace of this situation was it was marked red. It was marked at the time as a lateral hazard before the rule change. Right. Right? Mm -hmm. So, where did you go wrong? I did not stay in the moment. You did not, she did not stay in the moment, all right? So, in this game, you cannot you can't go backwards. You can't make up for a bad shot. All you can do is the best you can do from this moment. What, what happens is instead of thinking, okay, my ball's in the woods, I have the luxury of being able to take a drop and then maybe get up and down. You really could have gotten up and down. Right, I could have given myself half a better the time. Eye. I could have, there was You a ended up, do you remember what happened? Hack, <laughs> hack, hack, and I'm standing over there on the green watching this happen and I'm feeling sad because- I was feeling pretty sad. I, that, that might've been the closest I ever came to crying and, on the golf course. And quite honestly, I knew that was gonna happen because it was your first time in that situation. And whenever you're in like uncharted waters, you hear like the announcers say that on TV all the time, always in uncharted waters now, he's winning a tournament. If you're not really good at staying in the moment, if you are not good on the part of the game, the clarity that we talk about, then you're probably going to have an implosion. Right. You, and, it's and probably gonna is, happen. This is something that people practice in all areas of their lives is staying in the moment. And sometimes it takes a lifetime of practice to really kind of let all that other stuff go and really be present. I mean, how many, how many times do we worry about things that are gonna happen in the future in, in everyday life? Right. Same thing happens on the golf course. So in yoga, what's your, what, what's your fix for that? So candle gazing is where you focus on the flame and you attempt to not take your vision off of that flame for an extended period of time. So the idea is that if you're, I, I'm thinking, if the idea is that if you're focused on a flame, you can't think of anything else. You're not gonna get distracted by, right. I'm thinking about how my golf game is gonna be at the end in three more holes, right? right? So we have a, uh, a procedure that we go through, a regular practice that we do a physical routine that helps us stay in the moment. Pre-shot routine. Pre-shot routine, Pre-shot yeah. routine. Yeah. Um, the biggest part of 
the pre-shot routine, there's there's a physical component, but there's the mental component is is really important. So for my pre-shot routine, what I'm what I do, you know, my ball is where it is. I come back behind the ball, I line it up, I come back to my ball. Unlike a lot of people, I don't take a practice swing. I set up to the ball, I look at the target, I look back at the ball, and I swing. And then I accept the outcome. But, right. but the focus really is, I'm not thinking when I'm over my ball, what I want to happen, or what I'm afraid is gonna happen, or, oh, I need to make sure my back swing is in the right place, I need to make sure my club face is square, I need to get my weight shifted, none of that stuff it's just that one swing thought and that the practice that we do on the range sets us up so that that muscle memory translates onto the golf course right so the key is what i've found and here's where men have an advantage we can only think of one thing at a time right so for for me what i do is i play a movie in my mind of what that ball flight is going to be so when i'm back behind the ball I'm, vision, I'm envisioning my, my target and I'm envisioning the actual ball flight of what that ball is going to do, okay? Then as I'm stepping up, I'm playing that movie in my mind of what that ball flight is. Look at the target, look at the ball, and then let it go. And in my mind, as I'm hitting the shot, as I'm in the process of striking the ball, I'm playing that little movie in my mind of the ball flying up in the air against the blue sky and then dropping down onto the green. And I'll actually even take note of all the details of the sky of my target picture so that I have a lot of things that are gonna occupy my mind and I'm not gonna let these other things get in my mind such as all that other garbage going on. It does not matter. So here's a question for you. And then we get this a lot, especially in beginner golf classes. Right. Mike, what should I be thinking about when I'm swinging? The answer is the target. The target. That's, That's a great answer. It doesn't have to be that one, but I would just go with that. Go if with the target. If you're unsure, think about the target. Think about the target. Just like if I'm going to throw a ball, I'm thinking about where the ball is going. So, if you are having trouble with your, your, the mental side of the game, if you're going to blow up when you have a good round going on, then you got to make sure you're doing a better job of staying in the present, staying in the moment. I hope that helps and we'll see you next time.